New Headway Pre-Intermediate, 4th Edition, Students Book, by John and Liz Sauls. Unit 5, Tape Script 5.1 Verb Patterns Tom I'm 16 and I'm fed up with school and exams. I'd like to leave now and get a job, any job. I want to earn some money, but my mum and dad say that I can't leave school. They think I'll regret it later, but I don't think I will. Abby I'm a student in my last year at university. I've got debts of nearly £25,000. I'm going to study hard for my exams because I hope to get a well-paid job. I hate owing so much money. I'm going for an interview next Friday. Wish me luck. Kelly I'm a paramedic. I love my job, but it's very stressful. I'm looking forward to having a good break. We're going to Spain this summer. I'm planning to do nothing but read on the beach for two whole weeks. Martin I work in IT. There's nothing I don't know about computers, but I need a change. I'm thinking of applying for another job with a company in New York. I saw it advertised online, and it looks like the job for me. I'd love to work there for a couple of years. Alison I've got three kids under seven, and my husband works abroad a lot of the time. I enjoy looking after the kids, but I'd love to travel too. Sometimes I get fed up with staying at home all day. I'm looking forward to going back to work in a year or two. Bill I'm a retired news agent and I didn't have a day off for 40 years. Now I like sleeping late and planning holidays on the internet for me and my wife. I'm pretty good at using a computer. We're going on holiday to Tuscany next year, so I'm going to do an evening course in Italian. Tape Script 5.2 1. I want to work in Paris. I'd like to work in Paris. 2. We like going to Italy for our holidays. We're thinking of going to Italy for our holidays. 3. She can't leave work early tonight. 4. I hope to see you again soon. I'd like to see you again soon. 5. He's good at playing sports games on the Wii. He enjoys playing sports games on the Wii. 6. Are you good at learning foreign languages? 7. We're looking forward to having a few days off soon. 8. I'm fed up with doing housework. I hate doing housework. Tape Script 5.3 1. I enjoy working in Paris. 2. We're hoping to go to Italy for our holidays. 3. She wants to leave work early tonight. She'd like to leave work early tonight. 4. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. 5. He wants to play sports games on the Wii. 6. Do you want to learn foreign languages? Do you like learning foreign languages? 7. We're going to have a few days off soon. We'd love to have a few days off soon. 8. I don't want to do housework. Tape Script 5.4 Making Questions 1. I hope to go to university. What do you want to study? I'm going to study philosophy and politics. I'd like to be Prime Minister. I think that's the worst job in the world. 2. One of my favourite hobbies is cooking. Oh, what do you like making? Well, I love baking cakes. All kinds of cakes. OK. 
Can I have a huge chocolate cake for my birthday? Three. I'm bored. What would you like to do? Nothing. I'm happy being bored. Well, that's OK then. Four. I'm looking forward to the party. Who are you hoping to see there? No one special. I just like parties. <laughs> Me too. Five. We're planning our summer holidays. Where are you thinking of going? We want to go camping this year. Oh, camping. I hate sleeping in tents. Tape script 5.5. Writing for talking. My dreams for the future. Hello, everyone. My name's Susanna. Susie for short. I'm 20 years old. At the moment, I'm in my second year at art school and I often dream about my future. I have big plans and I'd like to tell you a bit about them. My most immediate plans are holiday plans. I'm going to visit my brother who's working in Australia. My mother and I are going to spend Christmas with him in the summer sun. I'm very excited about that. When I return, I need to make a final decision about which course to study next year. I'm still not sure. I'm thinking of doing either fashion design or landscape design. It's difficult because I'm interested in both clothes and gardens. If I choose landscape, I'd like to work with my friend Jasper. He's brilliant with gardens, and we've already worked on two together. It was great fun, and we get on very well. In five or ten years' time, I would like to have my own business and work for myself, like my father. He has his own building business. Perhaps I'll do a business course after I finish art school. Of course, one day I hope to marry and have children. Ideally before I'm 30, but I can't plan when I'll meet the right person, and I haven't got a boyfriend at the moment. In my dreams, I see myself at 40 running a successful gardening company with about 20 employees. I'll design beautiful gardens for beautiful people. <laughs> I'll have a beautiful house two beautiful children, and, of course, a husband who's as successful as I am. <laughs> Who knows? It could even be Jasper. Tape script 5.6 Have you got any plans? 1. Pete and Ben Hi, Pete. What are you doing this evening? Hi, Ben. I'm meeting my brother for a drink. Would you like to come? Sorry, I can't. I'm working late this evening. But uh, are you doing anything interesting this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to stay with an old school friend. It's his birthday and he's having a party. <laughs> are you going to have a party for your birthday? Of course. I'm going to invite all my friends. Great. I'll look forward to that. <laughs> hey, where are you going on holiday this year? I'm going surfing for two weeks in Costa Rica. I'm really excited. Wow, that sounds fantastic. I'm not going anywhere this year. I can't afford it. Yeah, but that's because you're saving to buy a flat. I know. You can't have everything. <laughs> Give my best to your brother. I'll see you later. 2. Debbie and Ella Hey, Debbie! It's the weekend. Are you doing anything interesting? No, I'm not. I'll give you a ring and maybe we can do something together. Mm, sorry, I can't this weekend. I'm going on holiday on Saturday. Oh, lucky you. Where to? Greece, for a week. <laughs> Where are you going this year? Oh, I can't decide. Perhaps I'll go cycling in France again. Hey, are you back from holiday for my birthday on the 25th? Yes, I am. Are you going to have a party? Mm, I haven't thought about it. Maybe I'll just celebrate at home with a few friends. Oh, nice idea. So, what about tonight? What are you doing this evening? Mm, nothing much. 
I think I'll just watch a DVD and order a pizza. Hey, why don't you come round and join me? OK, I'll do that. But I won't stay late. My plane leaves at eight in the morning. Tapescript 5.7 Discussing Grammar 1. Have you decided which university to apply for? Oh, yes. I'm going to apply for Oxford. Good luck. That's difficult to get into. 2. I haven't got your mobile number. Really? I'll text it to you right now. Thanks. Do you have mine? Yes, I think so. 3. We don't have any fruit in the house. I'm going shopping this afternoon. I'll get some apples. Great. I'll give you the money for them. 4. My bag is really heavy. Give it to me. I'll carry it for you. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. What have you got in here? 5. Tony's back from holiday. Is he? I'll give him a ring. I'm seeing him this evening. Do you want to come? 6. What are we having for supper? I'm going to make spaghetti bolognese. Not again. We had that twice last week. Tapescript 5.8 What can you say? 1. Why are you looking forward to the weekend? 2. I haven't got your brother's new address. 3. Mary says she hasn't seen you for months. 4. Why are you dressed in old clothes? 5. Congratulations! I hear you've got a new job. 6. Are you doing anything interesting after class? Tapescript 5.9. What can you say? 1. Why are you looking forward to the weekend? Because I'm going to the theatre with friends. 2. I haven't got your brother's new address. Haven't you? I'll give it to you now. 3. Mary says she hasn't seen you for months. I know. I'll call her this evening. 4. Why are you dressed in old clothes? Because I'm going to help my dad in the garden. 5. Congratulations! I hear you've got a new job. Yes, I'm going to work in New York. 6. Are you doing anything interesting after class? No, I'm not. I'm just going home. Tape script 5.10. Will you, won't you? 1. I think you'll pass your driving test. You won't fail again. It's your fourth time. 2. I think my team will win. They won't lose this time. They've got a new manager. 3. I think it'll be warm today. You won't need your jumper. Just take a t-shirt. 4. I think I'll join a gym. I won't go on a diet. I like my food too much. 5. I think they'll get divorced. They won't stay together. They argue all the time. 6. I think I'll go by train. I won't fly. I hate flying. Tapescript 5.11 The Twenty-somethings Leo, aged 28 I had a real shock the other day. My little nephew, he's six, said to me, Uncle Leo, when you were a little boy, did they have telephones? I couldn't believe it. I said, of course we had telephones. How old do you think I am? Then he said, but did you have mobile phones? And I thought... Did we? I can't remember life without mobile phones, but in fact, uh, I think I was about eight when my dad got one. 
Yeah, I said, when I was eight. Aha, said my nephew. I knew it. You are old. I didn't like hearing that. I'm 28 and I don't feel grown up at all. I have a great life, a good job, lots of friends. I go out with them most nights. I go to the gym every morning. I'm going to buy a flat by the river next year. Maybe when I'm in my 30s, I'll get married and start a family. Elsa, aged 26. I finished university and I started training to be a lawyer. I was earning good money and in many ways I had a good life. But uh, the more I studied law, the more I hated it. I was bored and miserable. So I decided to give it all up and go travelling. I was away for a year. I went to Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. It was fantastic. But then I arrived back home. I was now 24 and with no money, no job and nowhere to live. I moved back with mum and dad. They're wonderful. They don't make me pay rent. But, oh dear, it's like being a little girl again. At the moment, I'm working as a waitress just to make a bit of money. And my dad keeps asking, when are you going to find a real job? And mum says, when I was your age, I was married with two children. Married with kids? I don't feel old enough for that. I've got a boyfriend, but we're not thinking of getting married. Maybe I'll train to be a teacher. Now that's a real job. Dan aged 24. When I left home at 18, I thought that was it. Goodbye, mum and dad. <laughs> now, six years later, I'm back. My college days were great. I worked hard and played hard, but I left with huge debts, over £15,000. I thought, no problem, I'll just get a job and pay it back. I moved into a flat with some friends and I was lucky. I got a job pretty quickly. But I want to be a journalist and the only way is to begin at the bottom. I'm a very junior reporter for a small local newspaper. I love working there, but I only earn £16,000 a year. I couldn't afford the rent for the flat. So here I am, back with mum and dad. They call us the boomerang kids. You know, kids who grow up, leave home and then move back again. Lots of my friends are doing the same. My girlfriend is back with her mum too. One day we're hoping to marry and get a place of our own. But that probably won't be for a few years. You can't grow up when you're still at home with your parents. I'm fed up. Tapescript 5.12 An interview with Palina Janachkina Today I'm talking to Palina Janachkina. Palina, it's nice to meet you. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. I hear that you call yourself the girl with two families. Why is that? Well, I have my family back home in the Ukraine and my family here in Ireland. Where exactly do you come from? I come from the village of Polesi, not far from Chernobyl. I was born in 1988, just two years after the nuclear accident there. It was a terrible time for us. I can understand that. What happened to your family? My parents are farmers, and after the accident, they couldn't sell any of their produce. No one wanted to buy our meats or vegetables. We were very poor and ill, like many people in the village. How awful. How miserable for you all. But I was lucky. I had the chance to go to Ireland for a holiday, and that was when I met my second family. I loved staying with them. Uh, they were so kind to me. They looked after me so well. Your English is excellent now. Did you speak English then? Not a word, but I soon learned, especially from the children. I got on really well with them. So you picked up English bit by bit? I had some lessons too, and I came back to Ireland many times. 
What are you doing now? I'm studying here in Ireland. My wonderful Irish family are paying for my studies. I'm hoping to become a doctor one day and return to my village to help the people there. That's my big hope for the future. Well, I'm sure you'll do that one day. Thank you, Polina. I've enjoyed talking to you. Tape script 5.13. Talking about you. 1. Where did you grow up? Do you still live in the same house? 2. How do you get on with your parents? 3. Do you ever fall out with your friends and stop speaking to them? 4. Would you like to be a doctor or nurse and look after people? 5. Are you good at picking up foreign languages? 6. Do you look up lots of words in your dictionary? Tapescript 5.14 Expressing doubt and certainty 1. Do you think Tom will pass his exams? I doubt it. He's fed up with school. I know. He has no chance at all. He wants to leave and get a job. 2. Does Martin earn a lot of money? Yes, absolutely. He earns a fortune. Mm, I'm not sure. He wants to change his job. 3. Are England going to win the World Cup? They might do. Anything's possible, but I think it's very unlikely. Absolutely. I don't think they have a chance. Tape script 5.15 1. Kelly's job is really stressful, isn't it? Absolutely. She's a paramedic. Is she having a holiday soon? I think so. She says she might go to Spain. 2. Isn't it Rob's birthday next week? Yes, definitely. It's on the 21st. So he's a Capricorn? No, I don't think so. I think he's an Aquarius. 3. Do you think Anita and Paul are in love? Definitely. They're going to get married next June in Hawaii. Hawaii? Are you going to the wedding? No chance. I can't afford it. Tapescript 5.16 What's your opinion? 1. Did Leo Tolstoy write War and Peace? Definitely. He wrote it in 1869. 2. Is Nicole Kidman American? I don't think so. I think she's Australian. 3. Was Sherlock Holmes a real person? Definitely not. He's from a book by a writer called Conan Doyle. 4. Is the population of China more than 2 billion? Uh, it might be. I don't know. It's definitely more than 1 billion. 5. Do some vegetarians eat fish? I think so. I have a friend who's vegetarian, and she eats fish. 6. Is the weather going to be nice next weekend? I doubt it. It's cold and wet today. 7. Are you going to be rich and famous one day? No chance. I'd like to be a bit richer than now, but I wouldn't like to be famous. 8. Is your school the best in town? Absolutely. It's definitely the best.